Morning, everyone. Brad Wall has always been comfortable behind a microphone. Today, no different. I think this is the right time for, for me to step aside. I do think the government will benefit and the province will benefit with a new voice and a new style, maybe some new energy. The folksy yet scrappy premier has enjoyed popularity most premiers can only dream of. He won landslide victories and decimated the NDP opposition. It seemed he could do no wrong during an oil and gas boom that attracted 160,000 people to the province. But in recent months, polls have shown a significant decline. It's partly because of the 10-year voter itch, but also an unpopular budget. So now more Saskatchewanians disapprove of the Premier than approve of him. Uh, so that is a big shift and it could have been one of the contributing factors to why Bradwell decided to go now rather than maybe later. Wall blames the faltering resource economy. Critics accuse him of wasting money during the boom. The last budget cut rural and northern bus service, funerals for the poor and imposed wage rollbacks for public employees. He had a lot of promises for the public that he didn't fulfill. You know, the budget was so d divisive. You know, this is a government that, you know, essentially turned towards austerity quite aggressively after a decade of boom, uh, coffers being empty. Part of Wall's legacy will be his feisty battles on the national stage, fighting for pipelines and opposing the carbon tax. He made Saskatchewan you know, gave them a name across the country. He's a really good voice. He's a good communicator, and I'm going to really miss him. Putting aside the disagreements that we've uh, had on some policy issues, uh, there's no doubting, there's no mistaking at all uh, his passion for Saskatchewan. Wall provided his own reason why he's quitting with three years left in his mandate. I think it's important to give the next person lots of time uh, to, uh, to identify, to become known by Saskatchewan people. There is no heir apparent. Wall says he has no immediate leads or prospects for a new job and will stay on until a new leader is chosen. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.